everyone, I'm Maria, and I'm going to talk about the fertility awareness method. So just by show of hands, uh, how many of you plan to never have sex in your whole life? Just for like, <laughs> uh, I don't know, for, it's just not, you know, in your plans in the future. Okay. Um, so then, what I'm about to talk about is probably of relevance to everyone, since it, this is a method that is, uh, that regards sexual reproduction. Um, and I don't, I don't use this method. You can use quick. Sorry? Oh. Uh, so I don't use this method, but I've been currently studying it a lot and I hope to use it in the future. So what the heck is this method? Uh, okay. So the, fertil the fertility awareness method is a method that is a natural method that familiarizes men and women with the female reproductive system better and with the menstrual cycle. And by better understanding the menstrual cycle, you know when a woman is fertile and when she's not fertile. Um, so this is, I'm sure you're all familiar with this image um, of a female reproductive organ. Um, so pretty much what this, what this um, method does is it tracks three parameters in the menstrual cycle. And that is the body temperature, the cervical position, and the cervical fluid. And just in case you don't know what a cervix is, which I did not know um, before I started saying this, but the cervix is located here. So this is the uterus. This is where uh, sperm fertilizes an egg and then it grows. And then once it's done growing, the baby is pushed out through the cervix and it's born. Um, so throughout the, the menstrual cycle, <clears throat> um, the cervix changes position. And these, this position, these position changes are the same every single cycle. The same goes for the cervical fluid. Um, so this method can be used uh, as contraception, or as natural contraception. And the way that you do that is, okay, so you know in your body temperature that when your most infertile um, are during these times. So your body temperature stays pretty steady. Um, and then your cervical fluid is pretty dry, so it's a terrible medium for a sperm to travel through. Um, and your cervical position is closed. So if the, if the sperm like bumps into a closed door, it can't get in, so it can't fertilize an egg. Um, so these are the times where you're not fertile. So if, if the sperm can't get in and if it has nothing to travel through, then it can't fertilize an egg and you can't get pregnant. Um, but if you're wanting to achieve pregnancy, this method is also really good because it can tell you when you're most fertile. So for couples who are really struggling to conceive, um, it's really helpful because, you know, it gives you information on when you're most fertile um, and when it's best to have sex and to become pregnant. So, uh, when you look at your body temperature, whenever you have the most fluctuation, which is during ovulation, um, that's the best time uh, to conceive. And that's when you're most fertile. So, the cervical fluid is pretty sticky and it's great for the sperm to travel through. Um, and then the cervical position is open, so the sperm has an open door to get to the egg and fertilize it. So, uh, just in conclusion, uh, this method can be used to better understand how a, woman, a woman's uh, reproductive system works, how our menstrual cycle works, so that if you know, if you understand how it works, you can work with it. And you have a natural alternative of birth control 
and a national ar alternative um, to uh, increasing your chances of becoming pregnant if you're having trouble with that. Um, there's, these are the references. Um, and just, I'd like to provide some facts to summarize. Uh, so the Gutmaker Institute um, has stated that 20% of women worldwide use this method, which, I mean, 20% sounds like a small amount, but when you consider worldwide, that's actually pretty significant for a method that we rarely hear about. Um, also, in the, Oxford, in the Oxford Human Reproductive Journal, there was a paper that studied the effectiveness of this method of contraception. And it found that when this method was used properly, and it's hard to use properly, um, but when it was used properly, it was 99.9% effective. Um, and another article in the Journal of Reproductive Medicine uh, found that 49 out of 50 couples who were trying to become pregnant uh, were able to achieve pregnancy by the sixth menstrual cycle. So that's 98% of couples were able to become pregnant. Um, so that's my presentation. Thank you.